Today you are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Failure Mode, Effects and Criticality Analysis, FMICA. Ali Aziz Quality Education Channel providing you the job best interview related videos so don't forget the subscription button. Introduction to Failure Mode, Effects and Criticality Analysis, FMICA. In the late 1940s, the US military was committed to change from an approach of find failure and fix it to anticipate failure and prevent it. The methods developed focused on qualitative and quantitative risk identification for preventing failure. Failure Mode, Effects and Criticality Analysis FMICA, is a method which involves quantitative failure analysis. The FMICA involves creating a series of linkages between potential failures, failure modes, the impact on the mission, effects, and the causes of the failure, causes and mechanisms. The methods and techniques associated with the FMICA were published in a series of military standards. MIL STD 1629A is the most prominent of these standards and is still in use today. What is Failure Mode, Effects and Criticality Analysis, FMICA? FMICA is a bottom-up, hardware, or top-down, functional, approach to risk assessment. It is inductive, or data-driven, linking elements of a failure chain as follows, effect of failure, failure mode, and causes slash mechanisms. These elements closely resemble the modern 5Y technique in root cause analysis, RCA. The effect of failure duplicates the experience of a user slash customer and is then translated into the technical failure description or failure mode. The technical failure description answers the next question why, introducing causes that result in the failure mode. Each failure mode has a probability assigned and each cause has a failure rate assigned. If data is not available, probability of occurrence is assigned. The probability depends on the failure data source documents utilized in the FMICA. Unlike 5Y, the FMICA is performed prior to any failure actually occurring. FMICA analyzes risk, which is measured by criticality, the combination of severity and probability, to take action and thus provide an opportunity to reduce the possibility of failure. FMICA and Failure Mode and Effects Analysis FMEA, are closely related tools. Each tool resolves to identify failure modes which may potentially cause product or process failure. FMEA is qualitative exploring what-if scenarios, where FMICA includes a degree of quantitative input taken from a source of known failure rates. A source for such data is Military Handbook 217 or equivalent. There are two activities to perform FMICA. Create the FMEA. Perform the criticality analysis. Measured criticality is the intersection of severity and cause probability rankings. Results are depicted in four primary criticality zones. Criticality is used to determine product or process design weaknesses. Two quantitative and one qualitative options exist for FMICA criticality as identified below. Quantitative Mode criticality equals item unreliability x mode ratio of unreliability x probability of loss x time, life. Item criticality equals sum of mode criticalities. Qualitative Compare failure modes via a criticality matrix, which identifies severity on the horizontal axis and qualitatively derived occurrence on the vertical axis. Severity is on the vertical axis and occurrence is depicted on the horizontal axis. This is often used as an alternative for the risk priority number RPN, in FMEA. Why perform failure mode? Effects and Criticality Analysis FMICA. The intent of the failure mode, effects and criticality analysis methodology is to increase knowledge of risk and prevent failure. The tangible benefits of FMICA are offered in the following categories. Design and Development Benefits Increased Reliability Better Quality Higher Safety Margins Decreased Development Time and Redesign Operations Benefits more effective control plans Improved verification and validation testing requirements Optimized preventive and predictive maintenance Reliability growth analysis during product development 
decreased waste and non-value added operations, lean operation and manufacturing. Cost benefits. Recognize failure modes in advance, when they are less costly to address. Minimized warranty costs. Increased sales from customer satisfaction. How to perform failure mode, effects and criticality analysis, FMICA. The basic assumption when performing FMICA instead of FMEA is the desire to have a more quantitative risk determination. The FMEA utilizes a more multifunctional team using guidelines to set severity and occurrence. The FMICA is performed by first completing an FMEA process worksheet and then completing the FMICA criticality worksheet. The general steps for FMICA development are as follows. FMEA portion, see our FMEA page for more details. Define the system. Define ground rules and assumptions to help drive the design. Construct system boundary diagrams and parameter diagrams. Identify failure modes. Analyze failure effects. Determine causes of the failure modes. Feed results back into design process. FMICA portion. Transfer information from the FMEA to the FMICA. Classify the failure effects by severity, change to FMICA severity. Perform criticality calculations. Rank failure mode criticality and determine highest risk items. Take mitigation actions and document the remaining risk with rationale. Follow up on corrective action implementation slash effectiveness. FMICA worksheet. FMICA severity zones. FMICA can often become time consuming and therefore available resources and team interest can be an issue as the process continues. The FMICA process below to utilize engineering resources effectively and ensure the FMICA has been developed thoroughly. The approach is as follows. Step 1. Perform the FMEA. The FMEA is a good starting place for the FMICA. FMEA allows for qualitative, and therefore creative, inputs from a multidisciplined engineering team. FMEA provides the first inputs into design change and can jumpstart the risk mitigation process. The FMEA information is transferred into the FMICA criticality worksheet. The transferred data from the FMEA worksheet will include Item identification number Item slash function Detailed function and slash or requirements Failure modes and causes with mechanisms of failure Mission phase or operational mode DOD specific, often related to the effects of failure Step 2 determine severity level. Next, assign the severity level of each effect of failure. There are various severity tables to select from. The following is used in medical and some aerospace activities. The actual descriptions can be altered to fit any product or process design. There are generally four severity level classifications as follows. Catastrophic, could result in death permanent total disability, loss exceeding $1 million, or irreversible severe environmental damage that violates law or regulation. Major slash high impact, permanent partial disability, injuries, or occupational illness resulting in hospitalization of three or more personnel, loss exceeding $200,000 but less than $1 million, or reversible environmental damage causing a violation of law or regulation. Minor impact, could result in injury or occupational illness resulting in one or more lost work day, s, loss exceeding $10,000 but less than $200,000, or mitigatable environmental damage without violation of law or regulation where restoration activities can be accomplished. Low impact, result in minor injury or illness not resulting in a lost work day, loss exceeding $2,000 but less than $10,000, or minimal environmental damage. Step 3, Failure Effect Probability In some applications of FMICA, a beta value is assigned to the failure effect probability. The FMICA analyst may also use engineering judgment to determine the beta value. The beta slash effect probability is placed in the FMICA criticality worksheet where Actual loss slash 1.00 Probable loss slash greater than 0.1022 equals 0.10 no effect slash zero. 
A failure mode ratio is developed by assigning a proportion of the failure mode to each cause. The accumulation of all cause values equals 1.00. Step 4, Probability of Occurrence, Quantitative. Assign probability values for each failure mode, referencing the data source selected. Failure probability and failure rate data can be found from several sources. Handbook 217 is referenced but any source of failure rate data can be used. RAC databases, Concordia, etc. If the failure mode probability is listed, functional approach, several columns of the FMCA criticality worksheet may be skipped. Criticality, CR, can be calculated directly. When failure rates for failure modes and contributing components are desired, detailed failure rates for each component are assigned. Next, we must assign component failure rate, lambda. Failure rates for each component are selected from the failure rate source document. Where there is no failure rate available, the qualitative values from the FMEA are used. FMEA may also be an alternative method on new or innovative designs. Operating time, T, represents the time or cycles the item or component will be expected to live. This is related to the expected duty cycle requirements. Step 5, Calculate and Plot Criticality In FMICA, criticality is calculated in two ways. The modal criticality, each failure mode all causes, equals CM. The criticality of the item, all failure modes summarized, equals CR. Formulas of each are not provided in this explanation but the essence of the elements of the calculation is as follows. CM equals the product of the following. Failure rate of the part, lambda. Failure rate of the effect, beta. Failure mode ratio, alpha. Operating time, units of time or cycles. CR equals the summation of all the CM. Step 6, Design Feedback and Risk Mitigation. Risk mitigation is a discipline required to reduce possible failure. The identified risk in the criticality matrix is the substitute for failure and must be treated in the same context as a test failure or customer returned component or item. FMICA requires a change in risk level slash criticality after mitigation. A defect slash defective detection strategy, commensurate to the risk level, may be required. Acceptable risk management strategy includes the following. Mitigation actions directed at highest severity and probability combinations. Any risk where mitigation was unsuccessful is a candidate for mistake proofing or quality control, protecting the customer slash consumer from the potential failure. Detection methods are chosen for failure modes first and if possible individual causes which do not permit shipping or acceptance. Action logs and risk registers with revision history are kept for follow-up and closure of each undesirable risk. Other examples of FMICA mitigation strategies to consider. Design change. Take a new direction on design technology, change components, and slash or review duty cycles for derotting. Selection of a component with a lower lambda, failure rate. This can be expensive unless identified early in product development. Physical redundancy of the component. This option places the redundant component in a parallel configuration. Both must fail simultaneously for the failure mode to occur. If a safety concern exists, this option may require non-identical components. Software redundancy. The addition of a sensing circuit which can change the state of the product. This option often reduces the severity of the event by protecting components through duty cycle changes and reducing input stresses. Warning system. A placard and slash or buzzer slash light. This requires action by an operator or analyst to avoid a failure or the effect of failure. Detection and removal of the potential failure through testing or inspection. The inspection effectiveness must match the level of severity and criticality. Step 7, Perform Maintainability Analysis. Maintainability analysis looks at the highest risk items and determines which components will fail earliest. The cost and parts availability are also considered. 
this analysis can affect the location of the components or items when in the design phase. Design consideration must be given for quick access when serviceability is required more frequently. Access panels, easy to remove, permit service of the identified components and items. This can limit downtime of important machinery. A spare parts list is typically created from the maintainability analysis.